Hi, I'm Mike Lowe for Digital Camera and this is our review of the Sony NEX5N which is the latest compact system camera for the company and it comes with a 16.1 megapixel CMOS sensor. The 5N is small by design but it's no different to its predecessor and therefore the likes of the Panasonic Lumix GF3, Nikon 1J1 and Olympus EPL3 provide yet smaller alternatives albeit alternatives with smaller sensor sizes than the Sony's APS-C fitting. On the rear of the 5N there's a 3 inch 921K dot LCD screen which is mounted on this tilt angle bracket for more unusual shooting opportunities. Above that there's a smart accessory terminal which can be used as an electronic or an optical viewfinder should you so wish to purchase one. The port itself is a little bit fiddly to use but it's a good port to have nonetheless. One of our previous complaints with the next series is the quite unusual menu arrangement which is a bit tricky to use at times. But with the Next 5N, the ability to customise settings is now available. It's possible to use the two function buttons here, as well as the left, the right and the centre of the D-pad as well. Within the centre of the D-pad setting, under the custom keys, it's possible to have up to five custom options that then display on the screen. It's a bit of a shame there isn't the possibility of having more than that, as competitor cameras often have a a huge array of options on the screen that means you won't then have to dig back through the menus. One of the standout features of the Next 5N is the inclusion of a speed priority continuous burst shooting mode that can capture shots at up to 10 frames per second. However, the focus is based at one fixed point, as is the exposure, so if you want to take shots with any autofocus, then you really need to set it into the normal continuous shooting mode which shoots at about a quarter of the pace of this, around 3 to 4 frames per second at the maximum. The autofocus system itself is reasonably nippy and it's possible to easily move a single flexible spot around the screen as well, although compared to some of the competition, the Next 5N perhaps isn't quite as fast as you can see from the slight over and under focusing. The 5N's ISO 100 to 25600 sensitivity retains low noise and clarity throughout much of its range. Image noise isn't an issue from ISO 100 to 800, and while some softness occurs due to processing hereafter, colour noise is still largely absent. However, edge sharpness is one area where the Sony NEX series can fall into difficulties. With the large sensor size and the small flange back distance, images are susceptible to softness at the corners when shooting at wide angle settings. However, compared to the competition, the NEX 5N can happily boast to have among the best image quality going. To take the already impressive Next 5 and better it is a job well done. One of the other top features that the 5N has to offer is the 1080p HD movie mode which can capture at 50 frames per second at a huge 28 megabits per second data rate. Overall the Next 5N is an impressive camera. Compared to the Next 5 before it and the customization of the buttons on the rear makes for a big difference in use. As well as this, the 16.1 megapixel CMOS sensor is impressive for both still images and movie mode, and for this reason we gave it 90% and our gold award.